foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, yeah, you know, uh, as you can see, it says the world's first synthetic embryos created. All right. Um, and uh, usually when you see synthetic, it's typically, you know, like artificial made. Uh, let's actually type in that word. Synthetic. All right. Um, it says here of a substance made by chemical synthesis, especially to imitate a natural product. OK, so in essence, an artificial one in order to imitate a real one. Then you also have uh, embryos, and it has here um, an unborn or unhatched offspring in the process of development, in particular a human offspring during the period from approximately the second of the eighth week after fertilization, after which it it is usually termed a fetus. Okay, now. Um, Basically, what they've been able to do is to create this embryo, right? Which would typically ha occur, let's say, in a human, you would you would you would have the sperm meet the egg, it fertilizes, and then the embryo starts to form, right? As we read here, um, uh, yep, uh, uh, the second to the eighth week after fertilization. So after the the egg and the the sperm are fertilized. Then, you know, within the second to the eighth week, you have um, the, uh, the embryo starting to, to, uh, to form, okay? Now, <clears throat> during this time, you know, as, as it continues on, you have the heart, you know, and the, the, the different parts. If you watch, like, an animation of a, a baby in the womb, the development and the growth, you see how it starts off looking like a, a shrimp, you know, the huge head and, like, a tail-looking thing. Then the legs start to grow, the heart grows. You know, the, the, all the different, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, the kidney and all the different organs all start to grow as well. You know, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. But um, they've basically been able to artificially uh, replicate that. And it's going to tell you. It says, uh, uh, Israeli scientists grew a mouse embryo with a beating heart using only stem cells research journal reports in a world first <clears throat> israeli science now now aren't these supposed to be the, the the chosen you know these small hats aren't they supposed to be the the people of god so why why are you trying to why are you trying to go around the work of the most high you know aren't you aren't you supposed to believe that the most high is supreme and that his way is the way why why would why why is not the natural reproductive way enough so there's always uh, some some tactic, some some experiment, some trial going on to try and undermine the power of the Most High. To try and say that hey, we can also do the same thing that the Most High can do. That's that. That's that. You've all know a Harari bullshit. All right. Um, but it goes on to say, in the world, <coughs> in a world first, Israeli scientists have created synthetic embryos. Without using sperm or egg cells, having having taken only stem cells from the skin of mice. So without having this this the sperm or the egg, <coughs> and then you have the fertilization, and then the, no no no, they just use uh, stem cells from the skin. It says the breakthrough experiment, um, the breakthrough experiment, the result of which or the results of which were published this week. In the peer-reviewed journal Cell, saw the stem cells taken from mice self-assemble into an embryo or an embryo-like structure with an intestinal tract, brain, and even a beating heart. So next thing you know, they're going to want to be growing humans from other humans. And, and as they call clones or whatnot. According to Cell, because you think they're going to stop here. Now that they know that they can, they, they've tried this. You think they're going to try to grow a whole mouse from the stem cells of another mouse? Because in essence, they want to be able to create synthetic life. They, they want to be 
the scriptures tell you they have a God complex. Okay, Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, which Lord willing will get. So it says here, according to a uh, according to cell biologist Professor Jacob Hanna of the Wiseman Institute of Science, the results were truly a remarkable outcome. Were they? Were they really though? There was no sperm, no egg, and no uterus, but we managed to get embryos formed from stem cells alone to eight days. <clears throat> a third of the uh, <clears throat> of the just gestation period of a mouse with a beating heart he told times of israel he said he said this is the first time such an advanced uh animal embryo has been grown only from stem cells hannah told the times that uh the study could pave the way for growing artificial you hear that could pave the way for growing artificial embryo like structures that would be used in machine in medicine. Now, um, the movie uh, The Island, I think that's what it's called, where they had the clones and everything. Th this is a common theme you'll see in like those futuristic sci-fi movies where there's always some lab, some underground basement, some abandoned facility in the desert somewhere that somebody uh, walks in on. And then they see humans inside of these tubes, like these giant, like pod looking transparent tubes. And they're just like, they're just like, they have like this gas mask looking thing on, on their face. And they're like, they're like inanimate. They're just floating inside of this body of water or whatnot, you know? And there's like a, it's usually like a green kind of liquid that they're in. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. And then something happens and then one of them wakes up and they're like, oh shit, what's going well, what, what what do you think that, you know, in essence is? In some cases, you know, show you is like uh, them testing, you know, things on humans. But in other cases, they're growing, you know, humans or growing bodies in labs. And they're, they're pushing this research because ultimately, I mean, listen to what's, what he's about to say next. It says, including, right, I'm going to read this again. Hannah told the Times that the study could pave the way for growing artificial embryo-like structures that would be used in medicine. Yeah, it's always that. Including for growing human organs for transplant. Well, if you can grow a human embryo with a brain, with a heart, with the organs, with with the uh, 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 with um yeah, with the organs and the intestinal tract and all of that, what 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 what's gonna stop them from saying, oh, let's let's let it continue to fertilize and let's 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 you know, create necessary conditions for this artificial fetus and let's see if it actually comes to life, if it actually, you know, carries on. Now it says the embryo is the best, um, the best organ making machine. You hear that? <laughs> and the best 3D bio printer. We try to emulate what it does, he explained. Synthetic. Using human embryos as a source of stem cells to grow transplant organs has raised ethical concerns, but the new research offers a potential way to get around that issue. The research team believes since the synthetic embryo-like structures are similar to regular embryos but not uh, viable for implantation. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna read on that. I'll I'll link the article. Um, you know what? Let me actually read this bottom part here. It says researchers have also created a device that allowed them to grow natural mouse embryos outside the womb. Okay, so <laughs> that's um, that's that's something else right there. Now, like I mentioned, let's get the book of uh, we we go through this all the time, but. You know, it must needs to be brought out because it's written for a reason. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. And I'm just going to hit the point. Um, all right. And this is dealing with these uh, as they declared war that no, 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 there is no such thing as a, as a, a secret elite controlling everything. Yes, there is. All right. That's 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 a fact. You can check the history records. That's a, the fact that they have something called uh, uh the Bilderberg meetings and they had this Davos gathering and all of that. Who who was gathering over there? Was it us? Was it the common people? Who was gathering over there and what were they doing? Were they not talking about uh, the decisions and the direction the world is going to go in? 
there's something they have called a world government talking about they, they need to switch everything from regular to digital. Is that not a small group of people, as they call themselves an elite, that are running things and deciding what direction the world is going to go in? So how do you turn around and say that's a conspiracy theory when you guys are out, Carl Schwab and all these people, which they're just front men, but they're playing the same role? And 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 why do you need to come out and declare war on that if it if it's so irrelevant? It has no it holds no truth, no weight. Why does it trouble you so much that you need to come out and declare war on that? That's something to think about. Anyway, it says um I'm gonna come back down here. Oh actually verse Yeah, verse three. Second Thessalonians two and three, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, which happened to us. All right, we fell away from who we were. It's like it, we've lost our nationality and all of that. But now, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we got it back. It says, and that and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who is Esau Edom, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. Meaning that anything, you know, that saw anything you can do, I can do better by, uh, yeah, anyway, they, they basically want to do that. They want to say anything the most I can do, we can do. And once we can do it, we can do it better. Let, go, go look up Yuval Noah Harari from saying in the right order, which it doesn't matter. And look up and listen to some of the things he's saying. And you, you understand this verse right here. It says, or that is worshiped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And this he is trying to do because he has a God complex and he is using his technology to try and, try and in essence, say, no, 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 the, the God of the Bible, that's that's just a myth. That's a fairy tale. He's, he's, he's of the past. We are the new gods of this, of this, of this world. We've transcend, uh, yeah, transcended the God of the Bible. That's, that's basically their MO. But that goes to show you how far deceived you are because in what world does a creation surpass the creator? They'll show you that in movies and Hollywood movies and all of that. Oh, the creation. Can, no, no, no. That, that's not realistic. That's not how it works. Okay. If you have a creator. Your creator knows the ins and outs. He knows. Every, he created you. He knows everything about you. Now, we're in the most high is not just some creator. He is a controller of the thoughts. So not only does he know your thoughts. He declares to you what your thoughts are going to be. How? How How do you, <laughs> you know? Hey, man, it's all in vain, but it goes to show you what what, what happens when you have the, the, the basis of men ruling. All right, this is the direction they lead the world into. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, that was edifying and informative to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.